The weird spherical mass of what looked like jello or slime just sat in the center of my room as I gently tiptoed around it. I got close and as my face was inches away from it, what I assumed was an eye opened. What the fuck? I screamed at a perfectly reasonable pitch. Another eye opened, followed by two fox-like ears and whiskers popping out. The slime fox thing bounced around my room and inspected everything it bumped into. The thing seemed pretty harmless, so I just let it do its thing. I mean, he wasn't hurting anyone. And who exactly should I call for this? Hey, put that down, I need that! I shouted as I noticed the slime somehow picked up my drawing tablet. The sudden rise of my voice must have scared the poor thing because it immediately dropped the tablet and shrunk like a dog that just got caught pooping in your shoes. Damn it, it it's okay, no harm done. I said as I gently patted its head. It was like one of those squishy stress toys, firm enough to be solid with a little bit of give. Honestly, it was kind of cute. Okay, I understand it's been a little bit since the last update, but uh, quick, if you ever have or find one of these things, do not give it caffeine. I repeat, do not give it caffeine. I figured out that glup, that's what I named him since it's the only sound he makes, can eat pretty much anything. The food dissolves like it's in it acid once eaten. However, he loves sweets, but caffeine sends him into overdrive. Let me explain. I was working on a commission and sipping on a can of iced coffee with Glup watching on my desk. I bumped the iced coffee right onto him and before I could do anything, he absorbed all the coffee and even ate the can. When he started vibrating, I had a bad feeling. When his form tried to go in multiple directions, I got scared. I dove for cover when he zipped through my bedroom door, leaving a clean hole of his silhouette. Each crash and bang I heard through my house sent a deep sinking feeling through my wallet. But I was honestly more worried about Glup. Fortunately, it seemed like he was just exhausted. One couch, a refrigerator, a microwave, a TV, and three doorknobs later, lesson learned. <sighs> a few weeks went by and my wallet was still a life support, however Glup was happy. Little buddy bounced around the house while I worked and then I heard the window break. Glup? You okay bud? I rounded the corner directly into a right hook. Yeah, later I learned apparently ordering a bunch of appliances and furniture attracts the wrong kind of attention sometimes. I spotted Glup under the coffee table as the second man came out of the kitchen. As I made peace with the ass whooping and robbing I was about to get, the curb stomp headed for my face didn't feel as forceful as I thought it should. Actually, kind of felt like Glup. What the fuck is this thing? When the masked man yelled as he fell onto his back, Glup had swallowed his foot and was digesting his leg. First the boot, then the flesh followed by the bone. The rest of the leg, torso, and eventually head were dissolved before my eyes in seconds. The second masked man pulled out a gun and shot at Glup several times. The bullets seemed to make contact but didn't penetrate. They were suddenly flung back at the robber just as fast as they'd left the gun. One struck him in the arm, another in the shoulder. The last one got him in the hip, causing him to drop and land on his back. Gluck leapt over and wrapped around his head. I witnessed the silent scream as the flesh was stripped from his skull. It didn't take long for the skull itself to dissolve. As I laid on the ground processing what I just witnessed, Gluck rubbed his face against me like a cat. I, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm okay, buddy. Give me a second. So that's how life with my slime fox has been so far. Oh shit, he's found the coffee grounds. I gotta go. No, don't. Hello, everyone. It's Yami speaking. If you want to see more of Glup in possible different stories or a continuation of this one, uh, just show your support. Also, special thank you to the slime fox. 
also happy birthday buddy uh i know it's maybe a little late but greatly appreciate slime fox they're a great artist uh if you if you guys want to check them out i will have a link in the description all right thank you have a nice day and keep an eye out for the next part of the private investigator series my dog is being just so little guy and just wants attention you want to say hi you going to say hi yeah huh you say hi there's a good dog yes you are yeah, good boy. <laughs>